Max Yellow from vitamincm.com, and today I'm going to show you how you can download large files from the internet using a BitTorrent tool. So the BitTorrent tool that I like to use is called uTorrent. The reason I like to use it is because it works on Windows, Linux, and Macintosh, and it works pretty much the same on all three, and I happen to bounce back and forth between the three different operating systems, so I like to have a tool that I can know how to use no matter where I'm at. Now there are a ton of other tools out there that will do BitTorrent downloads for each operating system, so by all means you can use a different tool, but I'm going to show you how to use the one that I like. So you go to uTorrent.com and click on the free download link and save the download. When the download finishes you can run the file, so just click run. This will install the software, so it walks you through a wizard that asks you a couple questions. You want to select the install location, so this is usually going to be in program files if you're on a Mac or a Linux machine, uh, it would be in wherever they install it on their directory. I don't like to have it run at startup, so I uncheck this, and I'm going to uncheck this download peer Pioneer 1, and there is a couple other things that I uncheck too. When uTorrent is installed on your machine, you need to set a couple options, so if you go to the options and preferences. One of the things that you need to, to tell the system is where you want to store your downloaded files. So if you go to directories, put new downloads in, and then you just pick a file. So I'm going to say I want it to go in the downloads file, which is in my documents. For connection, you could set different connection settings, you could set your bandwidth. So there are several different uh, options that you could set. So click OK. And now, the way that I like to do it is, I like to go to a BitTorrent site where there's torrents posted that I can search. Once you have your BitTorrent client set up and you've selected your downloads folder, you're ready to start downloading torrents. So, I'm going to go to the internet, and there are many sites where you can search for and download torrents. The one I like best is btjunkie.org. I just find I get the best results when I go there. So I'm going to search for a particular uh, ebook. It's a Creative Commons ebook written by uh, Cory Doctorow. This is uh, free to download by anybody. You can do things like search by anything out there, audio, anime, games, video, software. So I want to get this particular copy here, so I'll click on it. And then it shows me some information, tells me all the different uh, files that are inside this torrent. So when I'm sure that I want it, I'll click Download Torrent. It opens up the torrent file, and it goes to uh, my, my BitTorrent client, uTorrent. Now, if I didn't want all of these particular files, I could check and uncheck different ones and only download parts of it. But I want all the chapters, so I'll click OK, and it will begin downloading. So you can see a couple things here. The percentage done, the number of peers I'm connected to, how long it's going to take. Now, a lot of times they don't start right away, so I usually just right-click on them, and I'll select uh, Force Start. Another thing that you can do is if you want to prioritize this particular download, you can go to bandwidth allocation and set it to high, and that gives it as much bandwidth as it can handle to download the file a little faster. And there's some other information down here. So if you click on general, you'll see information about the particular download, the trackers that you're connected to, so looking for peers to download it from, what peers you're connected to, what pieces you've downloaded, the progress of the individual files. So I showed you there were several chapters to this particular uh, audio book that I'm downloading. And you can see the progress of each particular one. What you need to do now is just wait for it to uh, finish downloading. So when your file finishes downloading, it will be in the folder that you specified before. I open up Windows Explorer and I go to my downloads folder. You'll see that the file is in there and I can open it up and play it. I can copy it, move it someplace else or whatever I need to do. So that's it. That's everything that's involved with downloading BitTorrent files from the internet. You install a BitTorrent client like uTorrent. Then you go to a site where you can search for downloads like BT Junkie or a million others. Just go to Google and type uh, BitTorrent download sites and search for the file, download it, and wait for it to arrive on your hard drive.